hello guys once again welcome back to another android at mob tutorial in this video we are going to learn about how to place an interstitial id unit from at mob in your android application before add any id units from at mob you must have to integrate google mobile ads sdk in your android studio project on the first video of this tutorial series i already demonstrate how to integrate Google Mobile Ads SDK into your Android Studio project. You can check that video. Anyway, in this Android Studio project, I already integrate Google Mobile Ads SDK. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to display an interstitial ID unit from AtMob in this Android application. For display an interstitial ID unit in this application, here I place a button. Now I am going to specify the on click method for the button. Now implement this method inside the activity. First create some variables for the interstitial ID unit. Now we can initialize that object. For this constructor, you need to pass one parameter that is the activity context. For display any number of interstitial ID unit in your application, you need only one interstitial add instance. There is no need to create multiple objects for display multiple interstitial ID units. Now we need to set the ID unit ID for the interstitial ID unit. Always use test ads for testing purpose. So you can find the test ID unit ID from the AtMob official documentation. So here this is a test ID unit ID for the interstitial ad. Now we can set it into this object. You can call this method called the set ID unit ID. Okay. Now we can load the add on the interstitial ID unit. For that we need some variables for add a request. New add a request builder and call the build method. Now we can load the add into the interstitial ID unit. So interstitial add dot call the method called load add and pass the add a request. Now we can display the interstitial ID unit. So from the on click method of the button here I check one condition if interstitial add dot is loaded that means the add is ready in that case we can display the add unit you can call the show method otherwise display some toast not loaded yet uh, short and display the toast okay so now we can test it so I run the project okay open an interstitial ID unit and is not loaded yet Try to open it again. Yeah, now the ad is available. Now I close it. Now try to open it again. But here it shows it is not loaded yet. Because here we load the ad only from this statement. So for further loading ad on the same interstitial ad instance, we have to implement some ad even listeners. So interstitial ad dot set add listener new add listener here there are many uh, methods are available uh, here methods like on add loaded on add failed on add open uh, on add left application on add closed so here I'm going to use the method called on add closed So from this method, I am going to load the next interstitial add. So interstitial add dot load add. 
new add a request dot builder build. So when user close the add, it will load the next add. So we can check the program output. So load the first industrial add unit. When I close it, from the own add closed method, we load the next add unit. So now try again. Now it working fine. So this is how we display an interstitial ID unit from AdMob in your Android application. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.